It is 9.41 a.m. Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. Looking out the rear of Amtrak's eastbound train number 42, the Pennsylvanian, headed from Pittsburgh to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And this train is actually going all the way to New York City. We're about to pass through Crescent, Pennsylvania. We're going up the west slope of the Allegheny Mountains on the Norfolk Southern Railroad. We'll see the uh, station in where you can stay on the left side of the tracks. This originally was the Pennsylvania Railroad. And there's Crescent. That white building we just passed on the left was a station in. This was the uh, base point for Norfolk Southern Helper locomotives. They now are serviced at uh, Altoona. After we pass through the summit of the Allegheny Mountains at Galitzin, go through the tunnel, we'll be soon after that rounding the world famous Horseshoe Curve, going down the east slope of the Alleghenies to Altoona. Horseshoe curves on a 1.8% grade, a curvature of uh, between 9 and 10 degrees, elevation of around 1,500 feet above sea level. Drop from one end of the curve to the other, drop 122 feet. This line sees about 60 Norfolk Southern freights a day in this Amtrak Pennsylvania in each direction. We have one GE locomotive, one baggage car, one Amfleet cafe, uh, no, one Amfleet business class car, one Amfleet cafe car, and these four Amfleet coaches. Total of seven cars, the usual consists of seven cars. Coming soon to the summit of the Allegheny Mountains at Galitzin. Again, we're climbing the west slope of the Allegheny Mountains, originally Pennsylvania Railroad. Norfolk Southern Railroad has eliminated the original Pennsylvania Railroad position light signals. There's the horrible remains of AR Tower. The track going off to the right is a loop track. So helper locomotives uh, pushing up the east slope, cut off and come around a loop track, then run down engine light down this line back to Altoona. About to enter the Allegheny Mountain Tunnel. 
summit of the Alleghenies. We're at uh, Galitzin now. into the tunnel coming out of the tunnel we'll be going down the east slope of the Allegheny Mountains to Altoona again uh, right in the horseshoe curve at least it's a 1.8 percent grade Conductor today is my friend Dale Secker, conductor from Pittsburgh to Harrisburg. I'm going, uh, going to Harrisburg to attend the annual convention of the Pennsylvania Railroad Technical and Historical Society. going down a steeper grade than the tracks on the right. It's known as a slide. Engineer on a freight train makes one mistake coming down, handling a big freight train down this grade. He's had his last supper. He mishandles the uh, braking down this grade. He's had his last supper. This is a curve where the uh, Pennsylvania Railroad's Red Arrow went off on the left and down the, down the embankment, I think in the 1940s or so.
Pennsylvania Railroad days and even into the part of the Conrail era, uh, there were four tracks up this on the sea slope. Results of a de Norfolk Southern derailment on the left. I think those cars have been sitting here for several months. Intermodal flats. Looks like containers as well. FedEx containers. <laughs> Norfolk Southern is very quiet today. We haven't, we've only passed a few Norfolk Southern freight trains today. Southern Intermodal up the east slope. And just past the remains of MG Tower, stands for middle of the grade, which uh, Norfolk Southern is going to demolish MG Tower.
Copper locomotive is shoving up the east slope, shoving the intermodal up the east slope. They'll probably cut off at uh, Galitzin and go on the loop track and come back down this light, line engine light, back to Altoona, their base point. About to around the world famous horseshoe curve, completed in 1854, eliminating uh, 10 inclined planes on a 1.8% grade, an elevation of about 1,500 feet above sea level. We dropped from one end of the curve to the other, dropped an elevation of about 122 feet. We're now rounding the horse, world famous horseshoe curve between 9 and 10 degrees of curvature. And there's the uh, park where people can watch trains and a uh, Pennsylvania Railroad EMD GP9 on display. We'll take a quick look inside this rear and fleet coach and do an over and out. Amtrak eastbound train 42, the Pennsylvania, and over and out. 